Get him all! He's trying to scare me by coming up somewhere else. Oh, there he is! I knew he, I knew you were doing that. We're Tyson and Rosa, plus Lola and Dixie. And we're traveling North America in our converted Ford Transit van. We join you this week from the beautiful Nova Scotia in our home country of Canada. What's up? Just shaking out the blankets because Lola's very hairy. Nice. Found this nice little spot on the Cabot Trail. It's just a one minute walk down to the beach. Here comes Shumpy. The dogs don't really like this uh, rocky beach, uh, but it's still a beautiful view, something nice to wake up to. And we're on the Cabot Trail. Follow their mummy anywhere. <laughs> Getting ready? Let's go on a hike. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, he is the world's most renowned international spot sniper. So anywhere you think that you, you get up from or you're going to go, she takes it. Oh, now she feels a shame. Go down in her shoe nook. She's got a little shoe nook down there. Dixie, go. Go. You're such a good mommy. You're a good daddy. I am. I'm usually the one carrying her, but I am wielding the camera today. And also, my Fitbit's around my foot now because it broke. So yeah, we got to find was... a new band for her Fitbit, but it's so old. It's such a dinosaur, and she refuses to upgrade because it just she... still works. So why waste? <laughs> yeah, and that's what I love about her. And that's the, not the only thing. But if it was, it would still be a good reason to love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. What do you think, Bug? We're just waiting. We're just keeping our social distance. Look at that view, huh? Beautiful. Wow! So after an awesome hike, it is time to clean off in the water at Inganish Beach. So it was quite windy and Tyson said the water was really cold at Inganish Beach. Um, we opted to stop at a campground for a shower. Um, at least has been our experience so far. You and Josh. We're leaving? Okay, you're not. You don't want to shower. Smart, smart. Tyson said he's gonna go use the sandy dump. So as I was saying, 
Um, if you have a Discover Pass, which is a pass that allows you to get into all of the national parks, um, our experience so far has been that you're allowed to come in and shower and use the dump tanks um, to like <laughs> uh, dump your um, sani, which is like your your wastewater. Get that fill. And fill your water, do your garbage recycling, and have a shower. Also use all of the trails and all of that without actually paying to stay in the campground. So our Discover Pass cost us 130 bucks and it's good for a whole calendar year. And that's all of the national parks in Canada. So yeah, there's, there's a water hose to like rinse your black tanks, which you never want to like use to use for your drinking water. But there is a hose here, but usually they're like more clearly labeled and they'll say potable water. I just don't trust that n no one's used that for their black tank. So I think we might just skip the water. Today. What are, how far are we for water? Like, do we still have a lot of water left? Uh, our meter doesn't, our meter's not really that accurate. I haven't checked, but we still have our backup, which can still last us an extra day or two. Okay, cool. Can you see how far away Tyson is? I knew he was coming because I could hear his croc squeaking. I could hear you coming down the road. Squeaky clean. How was the shower? Nice. Dry, so no one's used it in a while. Oh, nice. Clean. Nice. Oh, gosh, you dog. So we're doing that fun thing that you do every night in a van. Just finding your campsite for the night. And luckily there is a lot of nice places around here. So uh, the place that we have pinged, we found on iOverlander, which is where we find the majority of our sites. It is on the water. There is a nice sand beach and there is fire pits. So let me get this straight. Our tanks are empty. We got enough propane. We got enough juice to charge the gadgets. We're we gonna go live near a beach? Yeah. That sounds great. Good life. Good life. And we're nice and clean. Right, what do we got here, Shumpy? So for dinner, we've got a nice green salad with some pan fried tofu. Sizzling, look at that. Yummerific. Yummerific. <laughs> Very pretty area to be camping right in front of. Mm -hmm. The sand is beautiful. It's just, it's really beautiful. It's, it's kind of rainy and it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but maybe we'll get some time out here in the morning. Oh yeah. We're getting caught in some rain. So we're gonna head in and call it an early night. We'll catch you in the morning. Good morning. Morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> we're actually waking up pretty early today. We went to bed very early last night. We were in bed by eight. And I don't know, probably sleeping by like 9 or 10. And this morning I woke up at 8, which was which is good for me because we come from the restaurant industry, so we had we had so many years of working late nights and sleeping in, and that is what our body is programmed to do now. Getting your morning snuggles in. Dixie and Lola are extra kissy in the mornings. And they just got fed, so they're uber happy. Right, baby. Gloomy day on the Cabot Trail. Lots of overcast. For first breakfast, we did bananas. And for second breakfast, Tyson is whipping us up something. Got some PC veggie sausages, some toast, mushrooms, and potatoes. And to go with it, we've got a beautiful view of the ocean. How's that potato? 
<laughs> the one sausage I tried. Oh, I thought you ate a potato, and you're like, mmm. Potatoes good. Best. Sausage good. Bread good. Oh my god, there's so many bugs on our hood. So we parked right next to a trail for lunch and we figure might as well get a little walk in after. We're uh, hopping on a ferry to PEI. Did we have to make reservations? Nope. Do we have to wait two weeks? Nope. Do we have to pay? Nope. Yeah, it was free. Woohoo! Riding in style on the ferry. COVID checkpoint. Apparently we have to do a COVID test to get into PEI even though we're fully vaccinated. Um, I've already done one in the past. That's just what I'm assuming from this because all of a sudden it jumps from like, have your license ready, have your health card ready. I thought it was just like potentially do a COVID test. And then it's saying the test uses a lower nasal swab going no deeper than one centimeter into the nose. Oh, okay. I've done it before. It's no problem at all. People are scared. You can do it. No test required because we've been in Atlantic Canada for over 14 days. Woohoo! One of my favorite things about living in a van is that you can make amazing meals absolutely anywhere. Tyson is just inside the laundromat and I am out here cooking some tacos. So I'm cooking up some beans and corn. Got some classic corn tortillas. And then we're just going to do some lettuce and spinach, tomato and onion. And I'm going to drizzle a little cashew dip on top and a little Cajun lime seasoning. As I grabbed my first bite, I was like, wearing white pants is a horrible idea. I should change these. It was too late. Tacos, my love. Wow. Dixie wants. Dixie, I've taken a few. <laughs> Look at these. What do we got? I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, corn tortilla, lettuce, um, beans, and corn. Oh, you just eat it. I already told them. <laughs> Definitely do the windows up. Active today. I'll go do those up. It's just. I'll go do it. I'll do it. Yeah, so we're super productive. We are going to wash the car while we're waiting for the laundry. Life hack. And my favorite memories of my mom growing up is we would be at the car wash and I would just be like the little kid in the window and then she'd always spray water and then come and wave at me and smile. And I always, always, always think of that at the car wash. So Dixie is like a little laundry demon. Anytime we throw fresh laundry in the bed, she's like right in there. And she is currently, she's currently making a go of it. So we're just gonna wait to put the laundry away until we get to our spot for the night. <laughs> Dixie, you got a little laundry nest? Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, you just have to stay at Walmart for the night. We've finished up all of our tasks. We are tired and we don't feel like driving to the beautiful beach spot that we were gonna stay at. So, Walmart it is. We kind of just pulled up from the ferry and got straight to business and got all our stuff in order. We didn't really get a chance to see PEI, but we will show you tomorrow. Next week. We will show you next week in our next video. So, have an amazing night. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Hug your friends. Yeah, hug your friends. If you and can. And your dogs. If it's legal. Right. Wear a mask while you do it. And then wash your hands afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then say any after you wash your hands. Definitely. And
Did you put the seat down when you flushed? True. Good night. Night. Wash your hands. <laughs>